Hi everyone, when you're 5 foot 6 like me, you're always looking for new ways to make yourself look taller. Wearing platform shoes, standing with fertiliser a kid, or even strange stretching medieval torture devices. But I think I found a better way. You see there's these things called gravitational waves, and they're invisible waves that travel through space. And they stretch anything that they pass through. Empty space, or objects like me, you, stars, planets, anything. The gravitational wave passed through me this very second. You see me physically stretch and get taller right in front of your very eyes. But there is one downside to these gravitational waves. You see, they kind of go in a cycle. So initially they stretch you in one direction and make you really tall and thin, but then they squash you like that, and then they stretch you in the other direction to make you look really short and fat. And it's kind of like with this hoop here. So let's say a gravitational wave passes through this hoop. First things first, it stretch you vertically like this, and it make you really tall and thin, which is definitely what I want. But a short time later, it squashes, stretches you in the other direction. And this makes you really short and fat, which is definitely not something I want. But one of the really interesting things about gravitational waves is that they're passing through me and you all the time. In fact, billions are passing through you every single second. So I want you to raise your hand and then start waving your hand like this. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see all those gravitational waves just then? You see, gravitational waves are created by anything that accelerates. This can be you accelerating your car down the road, a star exploding on the other side of the universe, or just you waving your hand backwards and forwards. As it changes direction, this is an acceleration. But I've exaggerated so far. You probably realised that when you waved your hand just then, you didn't see lots of gravitational waves and the whole world didn't start stretching and squashing. And this is because the gravitational waves created by your hand are incredibly small. In fact, if you were the size of an atom, billionth of a metre high, you probably wouldn't notice any difference, they're that small. To see gravitational waves that we can notice, you have to have really large accelerating objects, like stars exploding or black holes spinning around each other. And even then, gravitational waves get weaker the further they travel. So unless that star explodes pretty close to you, you're not about to notice these gravitational waves. So if they're so small, how do we know they exist? Well, if you don't believe me, then you should believe Albert Einstein, because it's his theory of general relativity that first predicted they exist. In fact, we trust him so much that we spent hundreds of millions of pounds building detectors all around the world to try and detect these gravitational waves. So have we sound found any so far? Well, not quite yet. We think we will do within the next couple of years they do indeed exist. So if, like me, you're vertically challenged and you're looking for a new way to make yourself look taller, then gravitational waves may be the thing for you. Of course, to notice any difference, you're going to have to stand next to an exploding star or black holes spinning around each other. But these are the dangers we must face in the name of science and not having to wear platform shoes. Thank you.